Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today we're going to be reviewing our new science program called Science Shepherd. We're using it for my seventh grade homeschool student. Stick around and I'll show you all the information about this fun new curriculum. So we were approached by Science Shepherd and they asked if we wanted to try out their new curriculum and I talked to my daughter. She was up for it and so I said, sure, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Honestly, I have to say I wasn't sure because we've been kind of using the same science curriculum for a really long time. And so, you know, when you get stuck in a, I don't know, you just get used to something, right? And so you kind of don't necessarily want to try something new. Well, I have to say that I'm so glad we tried this new program. My daughter absolutely loves it. Science is now her all time favorite subject and it's just so much fun. So let's go ahead and dive right in and I'll share all the information that we have about Science Shepherd. So this year she's doing a astronomy God's universe and they have different levels that you can do so if you have younger students you could do a level a she's in seventh grade so we're doing their level B of the astronomy so science shepherd is an online program it does come with a couple of books I've got my teacher's manual here that has all of my answers in it and then we also have our student book right here and these are worksheets that she fills out as she goes through the video lessons now they do have different levels depending on the age of your student so she is doing their level B of their astronomy they also also have a level A available for younger students um, and she absolutely loves this. This particular unit has 66 different lessons. They're kind of a varying length depending on the lesson. They're all listed out for you so you can see everything that happens in each lesson. There are review lessons built in which is awesome and then there's activities built in as they go as well and those are things they can do at home. So for example she goes outside and she has we have a telescope so she's been out there observing the phases of the moon. She's looking at different planets out there. She's doing some projects like art type projects projects that go with that where she's drawing things out. Um, she did some sort of painting. <laughs> um, it's just been really fun and she's actually really enjoying learning. And one of the signs of a good curriculum for me is when my child comes up to me and says, hey mom, did you know this? And then they just spew out a bunch of information that I didn't even know. And I think that that's awesome because that means they're enjoying it. That means they're learning something obviously and that means they're also retaining it. So if they see something, they learn it and then they share it with you, that's a whole beautiful cycle and that's what you wanna see in your homeschooling. So how it works is they have it kind of separated by week and so in her schedule, I just have that she does science every day. Some weeks there's only three lessons, some weeks there's four. Um, I don't, I think it's, I think it's four max. There might be five on a couple of weeks, but for the most part, there's four lessons per week. Each lesson includes a video instruction, which she said she is loving. She loves this program so much. It's her favorite thing to do every day. And then as they go through the video lessons, they have these little worksheets that she fills out and I'll kind of show you, let's go to a blank one. So the worksheets look like this and she just listens as she goes through the video. It's all very visually pleasing. They have a lot of graphic um, things happening in their videos. So they'll have the instructor kind of standing there and then behind him is just all kinds of cool stuff. Astronomy, solar system, planets, all kind of cool visuals for her to be watching. And so she just fills these out as she watches the videos. She doesn't mind doing that at all. And I think it's great that it's teaching her good note taking skills. She's learning kind of how to write down things, what's important, how to watch those videos and look for the questions that she's finding in here. So I love that. And then in the teacher's manual, I have the answers. So it's super easy for me to go through and just check her work when she's done. The lessons also include some little like experiments that you can do at home here and there. Right now she's working on phases of the moon. And so she is constantly outside in the evenings, looking up at the moon and jotting down things. She did like a little art project that went with them. She's doing a lot of drawing and things like that. And so we are really loving it. So let's take a look. I'm going to show you what it actually looks like when she's doing her daily lessons. And so you can kind of just see what it looks like navigating through the software itself. Okay, so this is what it looks like when my daughter logs in. And as you can see right here, it tells you how far she is through the course. It tells you when your course expires. Um, and then she can click right here to resume the course or right here to see an overview of the course. And if you do the course overview, it has all of the weeks and then you can kind of click on them and just see what the classes are. Let's go ahead and go back and then we can just hit resume course. 
And that's just gonna bring her right into her lesson and so it makes it really easy for her to see what she's doing. Her video, as you can see, is over here on this side and then over here, are the lessons that she's gonna be going through as the weeks progress. And this is where she is right down here. So it makes it really easy for her to just get in here and watch her lesson. Now we are doing the astronomy this year. There are several different ones that they have to offer. I let her pick this one. We're already looking on their website to see what she might wanna be doing next um, because she is having so much fun in this. So I've had Katie join us so she can tell us a little bit about why she likes the program. So Katie, what is your favorite thing about your science curriculum? Well, I do. I like the teachers and I think they're good and I like their method of teaching. And so most of them, I, the method of teaching is hard for me, but like they understand, I understand it and they explain it. And like we thoroughly go through it together. It's almost as if um, like he's across my table. Yeah. And are you enjoying the videos? Are they exciting? Or are they boring? They're definitely, there are a few parts where I'm like, ugh, okay, when's this over? But it definitely, it is exciting, and I do like astronomy and kind of that area of space and stuff. And so it's more exciting for me because I prefer to learn that. So do you feel like the software is pretty easy for you to get through? Like it's easy to know where to click and what to do? Yeah, it's definitely, it's very straightforward. And so it's not like, okay, I have to scroll down three pages, click that. Like all it is is really, I open, I have it bookmarked, so I uh, tap that. And then I hit my login and I uh, hit, what, what is the button? Review course? Yeah. Resume <laughs> course. And um, I start my video. Yeah, so super easy. Now, have you had, um, I said that you had some extra activities in there that weren't just the worksheets that you fill out while you're watching the videos. So what are some of the extra things that they've had you do just on the side? Well, there actually is quite a few things. So on the back of some of the workbook pages, there will be an activity sheet. And so um, they actually, they had us make like just a paper book, but I kind of went all out. And so I have a little book. And so it's basically, he says that we're like basically writing a book about everything you need to know about the planets. So every week when we learn about a new planet, we write down two facts that we think someone should know and draw a picture of it. So that's the main really activity. Um, and then there was one of them where they had, uh, we were learning about constellations, and so they were going to have us um, go out into the city on a clear night with a new moon, which means no moon, and um, look at the stars and find constellations. That is Katie's take in. I think overall you're enjoying it, is that correct? Yep. Okay, all right, so I think that's gonna be it for today's review. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them below and I will get to them. I will also put a link on the blog post that has a little bit more information below this video and I will put a link on where you can get to their website so you can check out all of the curriculum for yourself. So thanks so much for joining us for today's video. We hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe so I know to keep making them for you. Thanks for hanging out with us today and we will see you next time. Bye.